20 years from now, if there's some scenario in which we all look back and say, you know what, I think on net it was a good thing that the NSF and the NIH and all these uh, budgets were blown off and got doged and so forth. I'm not saying you think this is likely, but suppose there ends up being a positive story told in retrospect. What might it be? Would it have to maybe come up with a different funding structure? Basically, like, yeah, what is the best case scenario uh, if this uh, post-war system of basic research is upended? Oh, uh, um, I, I have to preface this by you know, say, when scientists explore, answer a question, and explore possibilities, it doesn't mean they're advocating mm -hmm. it. I've, in the past, people have asked me off the wall questions about Neanderthals, for example, and then it was described as if I was enthusiastic about it. So not enthusiastic about NIH and NSF budgets being cut. Um, you could say, well, it, make, it forces us to think more seriously about philanthropy and industrial sponsored research. That could be a positive thing. Um, it could be that that makes us listen more carefully to what society actually needs rather than doing basic research. I'm a big proponent of basic research, mm -hmm. but also maybe I'm more than average connecting the basic research to societal needs from the get-go. It doesn't. Yeah. I don't think it actually interferes with basic research to think and act on societal needs at the same time. So that would be that could be a positive. It could be that it it creates a uh, another nation state that now is the dominant force. You know, like China could now become right. the next empire after. This is a positive story. U U US, yeah, well, it could be for China. Right? I mean, you didn't specify who it's a positive story for. You know, the, the U.S. displaced Britain, which would displace you know Spain and Portugal. You right. know, it, it keeps keeps moving. Um, fresh blood is sometimes a good thing. Again, I preface this by saying <laughs> I'm not advocating this. Um, um, let's see what else could go well. You know, there's just certain things that we, the society, is fairly good at doing collectively that we're not good at doing individually. Mm -hmm. You know, building roads, schools, and science are examples of that. Doesn't mean we couldn't learn how to do that. You know, you know, uh, you know, to some extent. When you build a gated community, a lot of that is done with private funding. It's possible we could figure out how to build roads and schools and just about everything. It, it means we're going to run into some kind of hyper-capitalism mm -hmm. that might mean, you know, there's all kinds of pathologies that come along with that. that if you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.